Okay, I'm going to add quick export capability to AP in um, in DataCap. So export to P8. What I need to do is open that application in FastDoc, add some quick rules to it. Here's FastDoc admin. I'll run that. Choose AP. Travel docs. No AP admin. Drag that rule set in. Um, so here's my export. I've got it. Oh, that's main job. I do demo job. Same thing. Here's my export, but I'm going to convert files to images, so I do this in um, PDFs first. Uh, create tip for PDF. So I'm going to drag that into export first. That should go on there. Did not work. Create tip for PDF, and then export to FileNet Content Manager. And that's done. Um, Create TIFF or PDF. I want to save this. I'm going to make sure it's creating a PDF. There's the PDF for export. Um, the other rule set that I'm going to use is export to file net. Now I need this URL, and I know that's in another um, application. So there's other applications out here that do that export. So I'm going to go find one. I think this Quick App does it. It's one of mine. And I'm just going to go get the URLs out of that because that does the same export capability. Verify export, export to file net. And so I'm just going to copy and paste these things out here. So there is, that's the URL uh, at FNCEWS40MTOM. And that's the mostly the only thing that I needed. So I'll paste that there. User ID is p8admin. Um, password, I'm going to give it here, but And password again. And the object ID, I'm going to look and see what I put in that other application too. So I didn't close it. Yeah, ECM and then the folder. And I'll just put it ECM. And I'll put it in the root folder, but you can choose whatever folder you want. I'm going to save that. I'm going to go to my invoice. And that's going to get converted to, let's make sure the conversion on that's working. Yeah, so that's another batch that's done at the doc level. So, so I want to do export. Now this is going to be go, going out. I'm just going to call it invoice. I can use smart parameters in here if I wanted to. Document class ID. I think there is an invoice class ID. And the extension I want to use is PDF because I did um, change that. Now in main page, I can do things like put values out that are part of the properties of the document. So I'm going to open up. Oh, I don't want Workplace XP. I want Content Navigator. I'm going to go, no, I don't want Content Navigator. I want Ace, which is the, uh, is the administrative thing. There it is. So the URL for the new administrative client with P8. So found that Content Manager doesn't exist anymore, which is sad. This isn't good, but it works. I'm just going to go look at my doc types for this document invoice. We could probably pick folder names here. I'm going to put it out to the ECM repository. Go into classes, document. Here is invoice. And I'm just going to pick, so you can see I have there, I'm just going to pick one property definition out of this and just put one value out just so we can do it really quickly. So uh, invoice total. Look that out. It's a string. Or PO number. I'll do PO number. So, and it's, if I look at it, Let's see what it's. I need a symbolic name. INV underscore PO number. That's what I really need. So I'm going to go back to my fast doc here and choose my PO number. And I'm going to export that. And it's going to be INV underscore PO number. And is it a string? It didn't look close enough. Let's do right here. Uh, it is a string type. So um, that's the right type. If you don't do it that right, it'll um, exception out and not actually work. So um, now this should export properly to uh, to P8. So invoice symbolic. You can also put properties here to be exported, but that's what it's going to do. It's going to export that doc type out. Uh, that doc type is going to be called invoice. It's going to use the PDF. Um, I'm going to save it and then I'll run it through. I'll run it through. So the next thing I can do is I can do this through uh, DataCap Desktop. I'll switch my application here to AP, and I've already got a 
couple of invoices ready to go in that demo verify. This is one of the older ones. It's one I did the other day. So this one work. So this is brilliant car repair. I'm just gonna choose all of these. I think they're okay. Just say submit. Submit. Oh, that one's not gonna work because the date's not right because it's got the fake date in it. This is that standard AP issue. Say submit. So this is one where we don't have um, any fingerprints. So we had to create a new one. Uh, busy car repair. The vendor number is there. Uh, the postal code we'll go and choose from right here. The make it smaller so you can see all the data there. The date is 02-2609. The PO number is here. Shipping invoice total here. Create some line items. Pick quantity. Pick description. Uh, sorry quantities here. There was item number. I didn't get it in the right place. So I'll go back and put item number in the right place. Um, and quantity price. That's the unit price. And the line total is here. Um, now I can just do this fine details. It'll get the rest of them. I can say uh, run validations. It's going to pass. And I'm going to say submit. And it's going to go to the next invoice. This one's going to have uh, the same fingerprint, but it didn't run because that ran that background process. I can click the sticky available. It will rerun that, and I can either go through and fix the date or just go through and reselect it off a little bit. Um, I can submit that one. Submit that one. Uh, invoice total must match 3009. Oh, it was an exception, but I can go back through and look that. But I'm doing other things for this one, so I just want to run it through. All documents are done. Do you want to run through? Say OK. I think this AP is running in the background. If not, I can show you yeah, it's not. So um, now there should be a, a batch in export ready mode. So I'm going to go and just pick that with DataCap Studio. So that allows me to do a little more debugging on it. If it does have an error and I screwed something up, I'm gonna close these because you don't want to have a fast docs open with the Studio because they're both using the same files. I'm going to open that in DataCap Studio and AP next. Password, go to the test tab. I'm going to go find that batch that we were just running and choose that right here, export. So this one's an export. I'm just going to pick it and then I can run it through export mode and it'll either exception out or it's going to work. I'll run Content Navigator in the background just to load this because we're going to need this to verify that the document did go out. We can look at the batch folder and see that the PDFs are being created. That's probably taking a little bit longer than the normal export. And there should be a root folder here. I don't see anything yet. Under ECM, still running. It's probably just creating the PDFs at this point. There it goes. Uh, ran through all of it. So let's just make sure I'll keep it running. Make sure that that did export. So it's done. Do I see any files here? I can search. If I needed to give it, if I didn't give it a folder, it probably didn't put it in this root folder. So I can search for them and find. Let me search for uh, invoice and search. There they are. They came out at 718. So, so that's how you add export capability to uh, AP. Thanks.